Shalom Aleichem, we are learning the Sicha of Mishpatim Aleph. It's an unbelievable Sicha, just foundation after foundation after foundation. It's not like the typical Rashi Sicha where the Rebbe just asks a bunch of questions and then, you know, gives an answer and then unpacks it. It's like answer, but that leads to another question, which leads to another thing. And very, very subtle until you have this magnificent edifice based on Rashi. Now, this Fabrengen, this Sicha is based on two Fabrengens. The first one is Tavshin Lamed Aleph, Shabbos Parshas Mishpatim, where the Rebbe spoke the major bulk of the Sicha, about the, you know, the Rashi, Amad Abiyach Manzakeh, Chasam Akam Akkoyden Shabriyas, etc. And just going to share a few nuggets that the Rebbe said at that Far Vengen. Remember, that we're talking about the machlekes, uh, seemingly machlekes of Yechim Metzak and the mayor, but the truth is it's not really a machlekes. It's both the same idea, just from different perspectives, the perspective of the Ganev and perspective of the Gazlan. Now, when the Rebbe said the Fabregen and he spoke about Rabbi Yechim Metzak, focusing on the perspective of the Ganev, he says, just to take note of what Rabbi Yechim Metzak said, he does in Shittim, the Shemayim Aleichem, Kemay the Bas of Adam. Remember, when they asked him for advice on how to live, he says, you should fear Hashem the way you fear people. Like when a person sins, he says, Shloyirani Adam. That's what the Gemara says in Bilachas. I don't want somebody to see me. So you see, that's the perspective of Ghanav. In other words, he's, he's being kefir. He's, he's not acknowledging a Kaddish Baruch. In other words, at least have the perception, Ghanav there, have the perception of the person who says, I'm afraid of people as much of Hashem, I'm afraid of Hashem as much as I'm afraid of people. Then the mayor and the mushal he gave about the king, etc. And then what we learned is the beer, Bepnimi Sinyan. And Deba pointed out, and we saw it in the Sikha as well, that this is one of the examples that you cannot learn Nigla the Torah without Bepnimi Sinyan. This specifically regarding the three psukim of the Vyech and the Mazaki, Basvila Bring, what's he trying to teach us? This is literally a foundational idea of how you need Chsidis to understand Nigla. We spoke about the various psukim. As a, uh, first one, Hayaman Mikim Hashem lasted Eitza, and Layida Kavala Yavan Likayakiv, and finally, Kiamdu Azav Hashem is Arts, Vayna Hashem Daya, which each one shows the progression in descent of the Ganav, how he loses his perception. And the Rebbe over there said by the Fabengen that there's also Limut Schus, there's a, there's a, there's a benefit of the doubt that we could learn over here about the Ganav, that his, his you know, mistaken behavior, his problematic behavior is not because he doesn't care of Hashem, but rather because the Yitzhahada is seducing him. And therefore, you have to have the Achmanis on him. That's why Hashem has Achmanis, because ultimately what we're realizing is it's a descent of, of Yitzhahara changing his perception and going from bad to worse. Interesting, that brings up, it's a Marina Vuchim, I never knew, how the Marina Vuchim, the Rambam says, how hard it is for a person to constantly live with Shavisi Hashem and Negdi Samit. In other words, the Rambam's acknowledging it's a huge, huge task to live with Shavisi Hashem and Negdi Samit. And then the, in the, the Rebbe continued the Fabrengen, that first you start off Ayin Doya, only Ba'ur, but not in dark. And that's because you think Hashem can't see anything. <clears throat> Um, now the Rebbe pointed out, you find even Balchaim that could see in darkness. How much more so Hashem who could uh, create them? You know, there's so many creatures that could see literally in darkness, the bottom of the ocean, etc., and even on, on land. But that one thing leads to the other, and um, a person loses it. That was the Fabengen of Tavshin Lamed Aleph. Tavshin Lamed Hey. The Rebbe came and said, I want to talk about a Sikh I had discussed four years ago. And I was waiting for four years for somebody to come and ask me the klutz kasha. What's the klutz kasha? Nobody asked me, he says. Um, the Rebbe says, I already wrote down the, the Rishima. There's already the, the transcript of this Fabrengen. So even those who weren't there, or those who were there, but they were chalming, they should have seen it. They didn't ask a question. And that is when the mayor says, And here's the question. In other words, 
what's the big insight over here? What's the big chiddush of the mayor? And then we explain the whole idea that in the, in, in the sikh, as we learned, that even something of like holding back the benefit is you have to pay, but that's something we already learned. So that mayor is coming and saying, in the words of the sikh, that's a man vegan the from Allah. Over here, we're talking about simply the thing of work itself, not about the outcome of the work, not about the gain that you get from work. From the mere fact that by the Balashar they take away, they took away the opportunity to work, the work ethic, the Ghana has to be my And in the footnote 40, by the way, that ever brings a, a famous, famous mentor that. I don't know, like, it's surprising why it's so not, it's not as known as it should be. It's a medrash on Parshish Lech Lecha, that when Avdam Avinu was traveling from Charan to Eretz Yisrael, after Hashem said Lech Lecha, so that was pretty much just geographically, he was in the northeast of Eretz Yisrael, so he's traveling west and south. So first he comes and he sees, in Adam Naraim, they, he sees a bunch of people who are literally wasting their lives, doing nothing, drinking, eating. And what does Avdam Avinu say? I don't want my portion. In other words, I hope this is not what Hashem has in mind. Now, it's not that he saw them, you know, more phenomenal, less from. He said, there's no work ethic here. I can't build Am Yisrael in a place that's no work ethic. Finally, he comes to Sulama Shaltzur, he comes to Syria, which is practically Eretz Yisrael, the north of Eretz Yisrael, and he sees people working in the field, you know, hoeing, et cetera, preparing the field for the heart, for growth. What does he say? says, Halavai, this is what Hashem has in mind. In other words, this is the same point that we're saying in the Sicha, that work ethic itself is important. Kamagdoila Malacha. So obviously, you know, we're talking about six days a week. Sheishis Yamim Malacha. Six weeks he gotta work. <laughs> you know, like work is 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 a value in itself. You know, today, like people say, what well, people don't take pride in their work, and people think it's just a simply like it's a it's a human thing. No, even Taylor comes and says work intrinsically is valuable. Call Adam la amol nivra, as the Rebbe says over there. So, in other words, the mayor is coming and telling us the incredible value of work. Actually, I just noticed that in the Fabreng and in Laman Hay, the Rebbe spoke about this Nakuda, this footnote 40, and the Rebbe unpacked it. The Rebbe said like this. He says, the people that were sitting and partying in uh, the first place, in Aram Naraim, he, it's not that they, they had everything they need. Obviously, they could afford to live. We're not talking about a bunch of losers. Maybe they were losers, but the point is they could afford it. But still, Avram Avinu says, Etzem Hadavar, the mere thing that they did not have in Yenam Alacha, Avram says, I don't want to have anything to do with them. The Seder Dav Zayn, the, the way it has to be is that there's Malacha. And when there's a time to plow, you plow. When there's a time to sow, you sow. And this is Benegea, even a guy. How much more so by a Yid. And then the Rebbe continued in the Fabreng and talking about the Lushitasi, Rabbi Yechelem Zakai, and Rabbi Meir that we learned later on in the Sicha L'chaim.